Hello my dear students, in this lecture we are going to see types of clutches. Now basically these clutches are classified into two types. These clutches are classified into two types that is number one is friction clutches. Number one is friction clutches right and number two is positive clutch. Number two is positive clutch. Positive clutch is also called jaw clutch. Positive clutch is also called jaw clutch. These are the basic basically two types of clutches. Now in friction clutches the power is transmitted with the help of friction between fixed disc and movable disc. Now here here there is a motor here it is a motor which generates power from motor power is transmitted to the clutch. Now here the first disc is fixed disc it is a fixed fixed disc right and there is another disc which is movable disc which is movable disc now on movable disc you can see here there are friction linings there are friction linings here with red color i am sh showing you friction linings these are friction linings or friction material right we can say friction lining or we can say friction material now whenever this movable disc comes in contact with fixed disc then because of friction material here because of this friction material here power is transmitted means whenever this fixed disc is rotating this friction disc will also rotate right but whenever movable disc moves towards right then clutch is disengaged and whenever clutch is disengaged then the fixed disc is moving with omega but movable disc will move with zero speed because now clutch is disengaged and power transmission is stopped here there is no power transmission towards gearbox and gearbox is transmitting power to the other components of machine element called as load called as load at load right this is the principle means here friction material or friction linings is used the concept of friction is used for the power transmission right whenever clutch is engaged then power is transmitted and whenever clutch is disengaged power is not transmitted but my dear students as concept of friction is used here as there is a friction there can be a slip possible there can be a slip possible between fixed disc and movable disc while transmitting power therefore for friction clutches slip is possible for friction clutches slip may occur hence they are called negative clutches hence they are called negative clutches whenever there is a slip then it is called negative clutch but in case of jaw clutch here in case of positive clutches or jaw clutches slip is not possible because you can see here let us say here there is a motor which generates power this is a motor which generates power from this motor the power goes to the jaw this is jaw here there is there is one more jaw this is movable jaw one is movable jaw other is fixed jaw right jaw means there are threads or it is like gears it is like a gear it is not gear but it is like gear means there are tooths on the wheel right tooth we can say tooth jaw right means it is a positive device now whenever this movable jaw moves towards right then clutch is disengaged and whenever this movable jaw moves towards left then at this portion tooths of the jaw are engaged with each other right and power is transmitted and as it is tooth wheel as it is tooth wheel it, there is no slip slip is never possible means we can say there is no slip right hence it is called positive drive hence it is called positive clutch hence it is called positive clutch whenever no slip then positive clutch whenever there is a slip it is negative clutch and then whenever clutch is engaged this is a jaw clutch whenever clutch is engaged the power is transmitted through the gearbox and from gearbox it is transferred to the other machine elements now in case of positive clutch that is jaw clutch there is no slip and from motor power is transmitted to the fixed jaw and whenever clutch is engaged from fixed jaw power is transmitted to movable jaw and gearbox and here this arrangement arrangement of fixed jaw and movable jaw is called clutch arrangement 
दिस इज अ क्लच अरेंजमेंट राइट वन फिक्स जॉ एंड मुहेबल जॉ फॉर्म्स अ क्लच दैट इज इट इज अ पॉजिटिव क्लच और जॉ क्लच राइट नाउ हियर इफ फिक्स जॉ एंड मुहेबल जॉ आर एंगेज देन देर इज सडन लोड ऑन द टूथ ऑफ द जॉज राइट देर इज सडन लोड ऑन द टूथ ऑफ द जॉज एंड द क्लच कैन बी एंगेज एट जीरो स्पीड ओनली means we can say during starting during starting the clutch is engaged the clutch is engaged means clutch is engaged at zero speed only when your speed is zero then only clutch is engaged if we try to engage clutch at some speed then there are chances of failure of this jaws due to impact load sudden impact right therefore it is possible to engage clutch at zero speed only now but clutch can be disengaged at any speed now disengagement can be at any speed can be at any speed this is important right positive clutches can be engaged at zero speed only but disengagement is only uh, uh, the disengagement can be at any speed now such type of clutches are used for low speed only these are low speed application clutches right such as for example in a press tool in a press tool the positive clutch is used as well as in rolling machine in rolling machine positive clutches are used right whenever speed is less than whenever speed is less than or equal to 100 rpm then such type of clutches are used now let us say if speed is less than or equal to 200 rpm then spiral jaw clutch is used then spiral jaw clutch is used clutch is used now here it is straight jaw if these jaws if these straight jaws are made spiral then the speed can be it can be used up to the speed of 200 rpm now second type is friction clutches which are called slip clutches or negative clutches means there is a possibility of slip slip can occur because of friction materials right now there are three types of friction clutches there are again three types of friction clutches that is first is plate clutch or disc clutch plate plate clutch or disc clutch second is conical clutch second is conical clutch and third is centrifugal clutch centrifugal clutch because of friction material or friction lining the power is transmitted here right hence slip may occur right therefore it is called negative clutch also now for friction clutches for friction clutches they can be engaged as well as disengaged at any speed positive clutch is engaged at zero speed only but positive clutch can be disengaged at any speed but friction clutches can be engaged as well as disengaged at any speed right very important now again plate clutch is classified into two types we have to see two plate clutches that is single plate clutch single plate clutch is the first type of plate clutch right and these single plate clutches are used in heavy vehicles such as trucks heavy we can say buses trucks buses that is we can say heavy vehicles the plate clutches are used in heavy vehicle single plate clutch is used in heavy vehicles such as trucks buses plus uh, buses now second is multi plate clutch second is multi plate clutch right and these multi plate clutches are used in light vehicles such as let's say they are used in bikes such as they are used in machine tools multi plate clutches are used in bikes and machine tools right now again conical clutch the conical clutch is used in machine tools basically conical clutch are used in machine tools and interestingly when this clutch is disengaged then it will not be engaged once disengaged once disengaged then it will not engage not engage right for conical clutch we will see this in theory all these types in one lecture we will cover only single plate clutch in another lecture we will cover multi plate clutch in one, in one one more lecture we will see only conical clutch right here only we are looking for the classification and in one lecture we will see centrifugal clutch 
with the help of, because of centrifugal action with the help of centrifugal force the centrifugal clutch operates and these are used in mopeds these are used in mopeds as well as small electrical motors small electrical motors electrical vehicles we can say small electrical motors or electrical vehicles right now our target is to see one by one all these clutches so my dear students in next lecture we are going to start start these different types of clutches thank you dear students in next lecture we will see single plate clutch